the modern Ninja Turtles team up with their classic cartoon counterparts from 1987 to stop two shredders and their multi-dimensional plan. The Purple Dragon Gang, led by Hun, breaks into a building to steal high-tech equipment. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles leap over a building to thwart their plans, but unfortunately, are captured. The Turtles' master, Splinter, relaxes in the sewers watching TV soap operas. Breaking news interrupts the channel. The downtown high-tech laboratory was broken into and nearby surveillance cameras captured the image of four bizarre green creatures. Splinter gasps at the development. He angrily calls for the Turtles. Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael rush into the room. He demands to know where they were tonight and confused by this. They tell him they have been here all night and ask what he means. He points to the TV. As the news anchor says the creatures in the image look like large turtles. They scan the image and see the purple dragon and suspect Hunt to be the reason this is happening. April O'Neil calls to ask what's happening, and the Tuttles agree to get to the bottom of it. At the Purple Dragon base, Hun is shown his new prisoners. He's confused and gets mocked by the Turtles. Although these Turtles seem younger, more naive, and have their initials on their belt buckles, Hun's goons sift through the Turtles' equipment and find Ooze, the mutagen that made Turtles, and their enemies, into what they are today. They explain they stopped Shredder from using the mutagen and tell Hun to be careful with it. He seems pleased and giggles with excitement as he tells his guards to eliminate them on his way out of the room. Hun suddenly yells and gets knocked back into the room. He falls to the ground and a vial of mutagen slips through his fingers, splashing on a nearby henchman. The modern turtles jump into the room and fight off the purple dragon gang alongside the classic turtles. Each hero in a half shell manages to escape. On a nearby building, the eight turtles look at each other with confusion as they wonder what's happening. They start to talk but the classic turtles decide to indulge their insatiable hunger for pizza, jumping down to the streets below. They walk by normal people without a second thought, even kindly greeting each passerby. They strut into Jay's Pizza and the restaurant clears out in seconds, each person running out in terror as four giant turtles wait in line beside them. The pizza chef even runs out, but thankfully leaves enough for the hungry heroes. Soon the police arrive, causing the turtles to slip out the back. The modern turtles catch and bring them to talk to Splinter. While the classic turtles talk with Splinter, they explain that this probably happened because of their fight with Shredder. Shredder piloted the ultimate weapon called the Technodrome, and to defeat him, the turtles had to use the weapon's multi-dimensional portal to send it back from where it came. But while doing so, the machine was shot, causing a giant explosion. Figuring they were still in their city and dimension, the classic turtles continued crime fighting as normal. Splinter agrees to help, saying they need to track down the Technodrome which is probably now in their dimension, and use it to reverse what happened. Deep under the city, Shredder scrambles to fix the engines for the Technodrome and realizes he is in another dimension. His scanners detect movement in the cavern as Splinter and the Turtles arrive. They tracked him here by looking at the recent seismic activity. Shredded is befuddled while looking at double the usual amount of Turtles. With a huff, he sends out his army of robotic Foot Clan soldiers, led by the mutant Rhino Bebop and his psychic mutant Pig, Rocksteady. A full-scale battle breaks out. Lasers fly across the cavern while the turtles take out soldier after soldier. Shredder sits at the control panel and fills with rage as his troops get destroyed. He gets a call from his evil, Utram accomplice, Krang. Krang snarls at him demanding he gets them out of this dimension. Seeing as how there are now eight turtles, Shredder concludes there should be another Shredder. He turns the emergency power back on and self-destructs the remaining soldiers. The battlefield turns into a fiery ruin as Bebop and Rocksteady escape back onto the Technodrome. A giant red laser shoots out the front of it as it blasts through the rock, escaping through a tunnel and caving it in so they can't be followed. Shredder and Krang continue to search for their counterparts. Although not finding another Krang, they do find this dimension's Shredder. They search the entire galaxy but eventually manage to teleport Shredder directly to them. He beams on board through a bolt of lightning, but when arriving, they notice that he's an Utrom. The same alien race that Krang is. The Utrom is a small, sometimes slug-looking, and highly intelligent alien species in the true form of the classic Shredder. Dubbing him, Utrom Shredder. The two evil, not-so-geniuses, revive Utrom Shredder through cryo-regeneration. He wakes up and immediately begins to attack Shredder but they manage to subdue him. While studying this new development, the Technodrome gets broken into by a mysterious ninja woman. She frees Utrom Shredder, saying her name is Karai he is her father. The turtles drive around in their garbage truck while trying to track down the Technodrome. Suddenly they get rammed and flipped by a purple dragon truck. They get out of their flipped vehicle but are confronted by Hun. He opens the back of his truck and a giant mutated half-dog half-man on a leash walks out and roars through his razor-sharp teeth. Hun explains that this creature is what happened to his goon when they got splashed with a drop of the ooze. He is excited at the idea of having an army of these beasts and sets the giant dog loose on the turtles. The turtles work together to defeat the beast and knock out Hun. They rescue Splinter from the flip truck and begin to make their escape down a manhole. Hun wakes up just in time to notice and dives down after them. He grabs hold of classic Donatello and snags the mutagen from his belt. 
He celebrates his victory but classic Michelangelo tells him to look again. Hun snaps his head back toward his hand and notices that every vial is broken, spilling the mutagen all over his skin. Hun continues trudging through sewers as his body changes. He eventually comes across the Technodrome. The main door opens and out walks Utram Shredder in his armor and his adopted daughter Karai. They look upon this hideous beast with pity and tell Hun to join their ranks. He agrees, calling Utram Shredder his master. They outfit the Technodrome with Utram technology and upgrade the robotic army. They go so far as to inject their human army with mutagen, turning them into monsters. Utram Shredder fills with confidence and says his new plan is to take over the multiverse. Back at Turtle Headquarters, the classic turtles tell everyone about their anti-technodrome gear back in their dimension but they need to find a way to get there. Both Donatellos work together to create a transdimensional portal stick. In the Technodrome, Utram Shredder continues to push around Shredder and Krang and devises a plan to capture both teams of turtles. He tells Hun to capture the ones that turned him into a mutant. The turtles finish creating their portal device when all of a sudden a wall explodes and a mutated Hun emerges from the smoke followed by Bebop and Rocksteady. The turtles look at Hun with shock, realizing what happened. A fight ensues as Hun and a robotic army rush in. The turtles battle with Hun in hand-to-hand -hand combat as they question what he wants. He says they turned him into a mutant turtle and the one true Shredder has returned. The continued laser fire starts to cave in the underground base. Pillars start to crumble and rock falls from the ceiling. Donatello powers up the transdimensional portal stick as they look back and see Splinter get hit with a laser and fall to the ground. With a flash of bright light, they get transported away. The heroes find themselves in the classic Turtles dimension. The same city, decades earlier, in the late 1980s. The classic Turtles seem ecstatic about this, now being back in their home dimension but still, agree to help the modern turtles. The group heads out to find the anti-technodrome technology. Eventually, they arrive at the sewers where this dimension's splinter is. They explain the situation to him and show concern toward their splinter, hoping to get back soon. Donatello searches for the technology. On the technodrome, Hun presents splinter to Utram Shredder. With his plan now to capture the turtles, Utram Shredder says it's time to rise. The technodrome rises through the earth and pavement onto street level, knocking down everything in its path. With the anti-technodrome technology now gathered and ready to use, the turtles create a window back to the modern dimension. While looking through it they notice Utram Shredder has plunged the city into chaos. Realizing they will need a better plan, they prepare their vehicles. Utram Shredder shows his superior firepower as he deflects all attacks from the military and unleashes his mutant and robotic army. April O'Neil and Casey Jones watch and wonder how to stop all of this when a portal opens up behind them. The Ninja Turtles party wagon and Blimp shoot out of the portal and head for the battle. Michelangelo and Donatello ride the wagon into the heart of the conflict. They almost get overwhelmed but fend off the army with the wagon's laser turrets. Classic Michelangelo and both Raphaels fly above and detach from the blimp, dive bombing the area below. With the army now defeated, the heroes drive the wagon toward the Technodrome. Before they enter, the modern turtles tell the classics that Utram Shredder is much more dangerous than their Shredder. Although a little hesitant, the classic turtles agree to continue the mission. They enter the Technodrome and find Shredder chained up. He yells at them saying it's a trap and the door behind them slams shut. Utram Shredder changes the entire structure of the interior to his liking. The room forms into a giant holding room and lighting zaps all around the turtles, pulling them toward the outer walls. While trapped, Utram Shredder explains his plan and shows them windows into other dimensions with other ninja turtles. He promises he will eliminate every ninja turtle in every dimension by scanning their DNA and finding the true dimension, Turtle Prime. Witnessing all of this in the security room, Karai begins to question the side she's on. The heroes spin around the room being scanned as the computer completes its calculation and locates Turtle Prime. The Technodrome glows white and blue as it begins to travel through dimensions. It disappears in a shimmering ball. Seeing all this, April and Casey run to the crater where it was. A portal opens above them as the turtles come crashing down. After explaining everything and introducing them to their interdimensional duplicates, the friends of the turtles agree to help. They make their way out in the turtle wagon. Donatello thinks since they survived the Technodrome's scan, that Utram Shredder's plan failed in one way or another and says they have to head to the Source Dimension because he won't be expecting. Classic Donatello says they can track the Technodrome every time it teleports and follow Utram Shredder that way. They just need equipment to upgrade the transdimensional portal stick. Michelangelo slams on the brakes and the wagon screeches to a stop. They watch the road in front of them get drained of color and then disappear into nothing. People, buildings, and cars are all getting erased. Now seeing evidence that Utram Shredder has reached Turtle Prime, they run in the opposite direction trying to outrun the destruction behind them. They find their way to the Purple Dragon headquarters where they are sure to find the technology they need. Turns out that Hun followed them there and breaks in after them. He confronts the turtles alongside the stragglers of the robotic army. He throws them around the room yelling at them about how he looks. He fills with rage every time he looks in the mirror, seeing not a reflection of himself, but the reflection of the ones who made him this way. 
The heroes try to explain what is happening and express the urgency of this plan but Hun grabs the equipment. Michelangelo jumps on his back and forces him to look at what is happening around them, seeing his goons getting swallowed by the nothingness. He stumbles back and gets caught in the destruction. Realizing too late that the turtles were right, he throws the equipment toward them and begs them to stop Atram Shredder from continuing his plan before getting erased himself. They leap from building to building as they attempt to outrun the destruction. April isn't fast enough and starts disappearing and Casey runs back to help her. Not able to help her, they both get erased. The turtles run into the crater and at the last second, they get transported to Turtle Prime. They find themselves in the black and white pages of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. A much more serious version of themselves jumps out of the shadows and starts to attack. Leonardo manages to stop them by mentioning Shredder's name. They explain the situation and all 12 turtles come together to stop Atram Shredder. The comic book turtles show the rest of the group the giant machine in the middle of the city, confirming the Technodrome is here. The turtles confront Atram Shredder who is shocked to see them alive. He looks back at Karai and immediately suspects her of meddling with his plans. She confirms his suspicions and says she freed Splinter, Shredder, and Krang. They begin trying to talk down Atram Shredder but he declines any notion of saving the universe and gets kicked off the building. The ground shakes as Utram Shredder grows to stand taller than the building they find themselves on. Now overflowing with power, Utram Shredder begins destroying the city while trying to eliminate the turtles. The comic turtles jump onto Utram Shredder, climbing all over and disorienting him. He gets pushed into the Technodrome's laser, damaging his suit. The turtles on the ground notice what's happening and attempt to keep pushing him into the laser beam. Bebop and Rocksteady see this happen from inside the Technodrome and rush to help. They trip over a wire and unplug the laser. Atram Shredder grabs the comic turtles and starts squeezing them, and the world around starts to disappear. Three explosive shurikens fly through the air and pierce Atram Shredder's leg. Seconds later they explode, causing Atram Shredder to flinch and drop the turtles. He stands there about to make a big speech when Bebop and Rocksteady, thinking they did something wrong, plug the laser back in. The laser shoots out of the Technodrome and into Atram Shredder, bringing color back to the world and destroying the threat for good. The classic turtles take the Technodrome back to their dimension along with Shredder, Krang, Bebop, and Rocksteady. The modern turtles take the interdimensional stick back to their home. The animation freezes for a moment before being turned into a 2D illustration. Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, the creators of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, finish up their illustrations in a new comic they are working on. They leave to take a break, and both agree to go for a slice of pizza. 